I just want to say a massive thank you to Cardiff Bet University for giving me one of their dorm rooms to stay in uh, for my period here at Cardiff Met because obviously it's an unpaid job. I needed somewhere to stay. At least I'm not having any pillow fights. Uh, but this is this is Greg, my roommate. Say hello, Greg. He's, he's not very chatty. Uh, Greg's doing uh, studying psychology. That's the one you do if you're not sure what you want to do with your life, but you definitely just want to go to university. Anyway, um, before we get into the crazy matter that is my transfers, had a fun time. I just want to be serious for a moment and say thank you for all the love and support on the first video. It was crazy. There was lots of old faces rejoicing in the return of Harry Owen. But what? No. Uh, returning in uh, Harry Owen and that was great but also so many new faces and everything it was absolutely brilliant um so welcome everybody um if you want to support me I do have a Patreon I know I've got to do this I'm sorry I'm forcing myself because I'm rubbish at this stuff um I just bought a house and I'm starting an animal rescue sanctuary so um we're saving up to buy an outbuilding for rescues and stuff so if you want to support me my links are all down there now like that's that's the last time I'll mention it for a while. Okay, promise. Um, right, let's do transfers. I've spent a lot of money. By that, mean, I, I no money because amateurs. But I've signed players that some of them can play football. <laughs> Hopefully. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to The Journeyman, episode two. Look at our bank balance. Well, one of the good things of not paying anybody anything is that you make money quite easily. It's great. We, we're 24 grand up. Um, I do think there's a rule in the game that they can never go professional because they're part of the university. Um, I think that was in their previous, so I'm assuming that's the same. But we're not going to be here for, you know, that long. Fingers crossed. So, transfers. I've made some. I've done. <laughs> I've done some transfers. Uh, we've we lost a couple of players that were already leaving, um, and another one decided to leave because uh, you know we they offered him eighty five quid. Like I can't compete with that. That's an infinite amount more than I can pay him. So that's the trouble. And of course, because of Football Manager, when you go to sign a player that's on a free, they're happy to come to you on an amateur contract. That like. All the AI teams have like alert set up and it's immediate. Oh my God, somebody's bid for that player. So then they come in and poach player. I've had players poached from Man City-like teams able to offer £10 a week. And I just cannot compete with that sort of level of spending. I think it should be looked into. Anyway, let me quickly take you through some of the players. It's a good squad. I've signed, I've signed like three or four like good players. The rest are all right. Uh, one of them, I think, could be a bit of a legend. Right, first off, this is a good one. Experience. His name is Simon Spender. Big Spender. 37 years old, 621 caps. Decent physicals for a 37-year-old. Like, decent for our level, decent at all. Um, he's also got a random long throw in him, but he's going to play on this right-hand side. Gets forward whenever possible. He's going to be bombing down the wing like a like a young Nathaniel Klein. <laughs> How old's Nathaniel? He's probably the same age, isn't he? Um, so that's Simon Spender. Obviously, they're all on a no no wages. Gethin Griffith is a centre back that's he's aggressive. He can jump and do a bit of tackling, and he's determined. And he's twenty four. That's what I've got. Gary Roberts, another goodie, this one. Expe another experience, like the dregs. I've th I'm pretty sure I've had him in previous FMs because he's always one of those non-league players that you can get in that's actually pretty decent. His legs have gone a little bit, but he has very good technical ability. A passer, a tackler, a long shotter, a first touchy boy. So, like him, lots of experience. He's been around, played for the likes of Chester. Mansfield. He was sold for maybe money. He played for Yeovil in League One. He played in the Championship 100 years ago, but he still did it. Then we've got Danny Walker-Rice. Uh, is our new left winger. He's, like, pretty average, but pretty well-rounded without any, like, massive holes in his game, which is good at this level. Then we have Wes Baines. A Bane. Um, he is our another right-back, 34 years old. <laughs> 
turned into an old people's home already. Um, a lot of these people probably aren't around the allowed around the university. Um, anyway, he's our sort of sensibly back up to the other old guy. Between them, it's like I think they're seventy years old. They are my bombing forward wingbacks. That can't go wrong. Uh, Robbie Patton's up next. He's a footballer-ish. Uh, solid central midfielder depth guy. Um, then, we've, you, some of you may have heard of this guy. Hope Akpan. Another central midfield. Nigerian international. Probably 10 years ago, but still. Played for some big teams. Sold for actual money. Came through the Everton youth ranks. And dropped down quite heavily, quite quickly. But... He's only 31. Like, I, I, I think that is a good signing. He's got good physicals. Um, then this guy. This guy could be the one. Another international player. He's got one cap for New Zealand. It counts. It, it counts. It does count. But he's very good, right? 14 finishing, 12 composure. He's deadly. It's like young Michael Owen. He likes to lob the keeper. Great. Uh, good, decent penalty taker. Very good. But more importantly than that, he played for TNS for like 10 years and he absolutely banged in goals. TNS are like the best team in the league by a distance. If we just look at their team, for instance, bearing in mind all our, we're, we're amateurs. This is what we're up against. They're paying a guy a thousand pounds a week. Okay. He's not that good to be fair, but like... That's what we're up against this season. It's going to be tricky. But the fact he was, like, for the AI, banging them in, banging them for funsies. He, and he played for Basingstoke as well. Another little, for the Basingstoke boys. Um, yeah. Uh, this, this, he could be good. Like, he's, he's 33, yes. But he's still got his physicals. If we can get a year, maybe two out of him, I think he could do bits. Um, might even keep Harry Owen out of the team. Next up, we've got Jake and Heckles. I think this is not... Uh, yeah, this is a... Yeah, Tash guy. I remember signing him now. He can run fast. Uh, Luke Noble, another centre-back option. Centre-back was the hardest position to fill. I don't know why he's in the under 18s. I'm desperate for... The yeah, AI's chucked him in there. But he's not too bad. As a sort of squad player. Uh, there was a few people asking about the um, under... Our youth team. Well, that's it. Well, it's just him. It was literally just this guy. Oh, no. He was in the first team. I moved him in. It's just him on his own. No youth team. Um, so that's even what it is. Uh, Evan Cadwallader. Wallader. Wall Evan. Another bang average young centre-back. But we do need young players as well. See, So it's important to have these young players in the squad uh, for registration rules and everything like that. Uh, Barney Sodi, not my signing, but he's come in. He's another left winger option or incredibly at <laughs> incredibly attacking left back with two marking and one strength, two jumping wings. I think he's a left winger. I think it's safe to say, and I'll forget this and play him a left back at some point, so just so we're all aware. Um, and then we have Joe Evans. This is This wasn't mine. He's awful. He can jump. And uh, and the, even the fans were annoyed that he was so bad. I'm not, I'm not, it's not me. And then we have Nathan Smith, a Jamaican, two cap, another, he's 36 year old, but he's an international player. A, another centre back option, but can play at left back as well, likes to get forward as well. So overall, we've got a mix of experience and young people that can't play football. Okay? So it's quite an old squad. It's one of the nice things because I always tend to, when I play personal saves or like a one club save, I'm going to be like, I like to get the youth talent through and develop them and everything like that. But we're, the journeyman is so freeing because we're not going to be here for a massively long time. Might be two or three years. Just get some oldies in, get them to do a job. So here we are. So tactic wise, add a little fiddle and play about. Don't want anything too complex for the boys. But there was a couple of things that sort of stood out. We knew we had this really good DM. He was already with us. We knew we had this really good sort of left backstroke centre back. So what I've decided to do, and then we signed our big spender right here. I thought, well, the, the back sort of builds itself almost. We have a four that turns into a three when we're attacking. Everybody shuffles across. 
the centre backs are no nonsense. Just, just get rid. Can't trust them. Uh, and spend the bombs forward. Okay, that's that's good. Easy fix. Lang's in goal. He's a very, he's a oh, not very very good. I almost said very good. That's a mistake. He's he's a person that plays at goalkeeper. And then we've got in the central of midfield. We've got Price is our big. One of our star players, really. 23 years old. One under 21 cap. And then we've got the experience of Akpan and Roberts in midfield. Doing absolute bits. He, I promise to play him as a central midfielder. It's literally the only way he would sign. <laughs> we can't pay him any money, but we can make promises. Um, and Akpan's a box-to-box. -box. We've got Walker Rice on this left-hand side. We've got three options for left wing. I don't know who's the best. We're going to try them all out. Um, apparently, he... Best role and duty is a wide target man with his seven jumping. Okay, good. Ignore that. And then we've got this guy, our free kick taker, uh, Elliot Evans, on this right-hand side as the inverted inside forward, who's going to support the target forward. I think the first game of the season, by the way, is a cup game against Ruthin, who are like just... They're the second division side, right? So... This should be comfortable. Were we at home? <clears throat> no, but it should be comfortable. I'm going to... We've got to treat ourselves. Harry Owen. But to be honest, he's going to have a very hard time getting in front of Greg Draper. <laughs> do, we, do we dare compare? Do we dare compare? Uh, yeah. Um, look, physical. Bit smashes him more physical and aerial, yeah, aerial threat. Harry Owen doesn't even look like he knows where he is. Doesn't matter. We'll worry about that later. So, that is my team. It's about as good as I could do. Like I said, the first group of players that I thought were really good that would really improve us. As soon as I went in for the AI, started offering them ten pound a week, and you know we just can't compete with that sort of levels of spending. Um, but we will do what we must. Um, I've set my corners for in-swingers near post because I've done a bit of testing now and I think that is the best one. And we have some decent guys, decent in the air. Harry Owen, our left back, is really good in the air as well and one, a couple of the centre-backs who are decent in the air. So I think it actually should be fine. We are expected to get to the latter stages of this. So it is an important game to get off the ground. Uh... He's suggesting I make six changes to the team. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, I did ask, a little annoyance here. We should play with a very attacking mentality. What, from the start? Okay, let's not do that. Right. Come on, boys. We get oh, Number three. I think I promised him a number three. Right. Think of the experience, guys. Think of the experience we have in this team. And that central midfield now. They're going to run the game. We are the better team. We'll, we'll go on balance. But I want to play this sort of quite quick counter attacky Not long ball, but move the ball quickly in a counter attacky fashion. Because we will be the underdogs for a lot of these games, especially against like the top five. Okay. I'm glad this game doesn't remember. You know, your options from before. Um, none of that, please. None of that. None of that. Thank you very much. <coughs> right. We are the red, blue, and yellow kit. Not the best kits. Right, Roberts. Look at the experience. Look what. Look at him. Watch him. He's looking. Harry Owen. Can he do it? Oh, lovely. Shifts it. Oh. Oh, it's good to be back. I'm having flashbacks. Big long throw. Harry Owens drifted to this left-hand side. As you know, he is naturally a wide target man, as we know. Williams into Price. Getting to know these players now. Smith pings it out to Spender. We know he's bombing forward, the old man. It's a decent ball. Walker Price. Oh, is it Walker Price? No, it's Walker Rice. Close. <clears throat> All right. We don't mind this. I'm sort of TNS about 6-0 up at this point. Keeper, let's see what you got. Lovely. Remember, he's, he looks quite small, doesn't he? He does look small. <laughs> A little bit worrisome. 
Everything is other abilities will outshine the fact like Evans, nice. Akpan. Walker Rice looked lively so far. Can he whip a ball in? Feed the Owen. Cuts it back this time. But Williams is gonna get there. Nice. Price. Lovely. Hook it back across. Evans! Oh, he took it off. Surely he just took it off Harry Owen's head. This is one thing he's good at, mate, is his heading. Decent. Yes! It's the left back gets the no. I'm assuming there's no VAR. Yeah. Come on, I want Harry Owen to score our first goal. Oh, it's a nice run. Lang got a touch on it. Decent. Okay, we've looked good. I know this is a terrible, terrible team. We saw them. Even our scouts are saying they're bad. So we know this. Good header away. We like that. A lot of concrete. A lot of concrete in there or around their stadium. That's a that's a big old that's an optimistic car park, isn't it? Right. Come on, boys, get a goal. Let's just get a nice, comfortable win. We've got the right amount of possession. We're playing a suck em in, ladies. Suck em in, get them tactic. That's like <sighs> so it's that, that side of things is working. It's probably not the ideal team to play against, but it's working. Okay, we'll give. Harry another 20 minutes. We do still need a um inside forward. I I kind of bought Draper because I think he can play there as well if needed. But because we're amateur, it's gonna take seven hundred years to train a player to play in a new position. Um you know, Dixon Capongo is coming because he's got a quality name. We will need to do regular subages because of said old people. Come on. Let's get a goal. Nice. Lewis dinks one out to Evans. Cuts it back to Spender. Floats one into Harry Owen. Is there? Oh, that's the pen. Who's taking the pen? I have no... I did look. I think we've got like a plus... A 10 plus penalty taker. A couple of them. Price. Which position is he? Oh, he's the DM. He's the key man. Let's go. First goal. A penalty. We'll take it. He celebrates with the fans. And the crowd go wild. And it pads the XG as well. Looks nice now. This is wow, well, this is this is this is oh this is actually good football. Play it. Oh, he's going on his own. Is that a young Messi? Can he find the ball across? Sort of. Nods it down. Oh, that was actually that, that was oh no. Okay. That was actually a perfect fluid counter attack. They were attacking. Got the ball. Dosh dosh dosh. Go. Spender. He's looked bright. Go on, Evans! Get in there! Elliot, spelt like that, feels wrong, but okay. It's 2-0. The inside forward gets himself a goal. He was one of the other key players that we knew about. Come on, go around the corner. Spender providing the width. Does really well. And it's a simple tap in at the near post. Gets in front of his man, and it's 2-0. I'm enjoying this because it's not going to be like this once we start playing in the league. So I'm just... Breathing it in. Right, let's try uh, Barney. And I think I'm assuming we can only make three subs. We'll give Harry Owen the game, and we'll start Greg Draper in the league. Let's give him. A, let's give him a chance. Um, and you can come in. Gethin can come in. Good Welsh name. I'm gonna give him a bit of praise. I've got to get stuck in as well. I've, I've I tried that before. I didn't like it on FM twenty three. Get stuck in because I felt it just meant yellow cards. But they they seem. We'll take it. It's well. Never mind. Um, 
We, it just seems to get just yellow cards for no reason. But actually, I think this does break up play a little bit more. So we're going to try it. Lovely. The TNS win. Yes. Brobble. Is that Brian Brobble? Well done, boys. Our first win in our first game with a clean sheet. Sadly, no Harry Owen goal. But we, we did see... Oh, hang on, though. Sodis fancies it. <laughs> that was so slow. <laughs> but, you know, he's a 1 in 10 man, isn't he, Harry Owen? Let's, let's face it. Let's not, let's not get crazy about this. But over... Okay. I know they're terrible. I've got to get that into my head. But I, it, it, the tactic works like we did. Even against the poorer side, we let them have the ball and then we destroyed them on the break. We saw it in action. Let's go. Spender impresses. Look, five headers. All, won all his headers. Won all his tackles. Lovely. Lovely. We are happy with that. Four key passes in that game as well. Kim Williams got four key passes as an inverted fullback. I think that's more from set pieces. For chance, or just pinging them forward. Okay. Well, then. Not a bad start. Admittedly, the real stuff is going gonna, is gonna to be there shortly. We are predicted eighth. Which would be okay, I think. Um, I don't think we can see the stats until the yeah, the league's kicked off. Um, but generally speaking, where where is where is the thing? Um, semi professional, semi professional, semi professional, semi professional, amateur boys, semi professional. Semi-professional, be at least one other amateur team, please. Semi-professional, 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 professional. I was hoping because occasionally there's an, another amateur team promoted. Okay, well, that's just, that just makes our domination even more amazing when it happens. Right, my friends, let me know what you think of the transfers, what you think of the tactic. Who do you think is going to be our standout men this season? I'm I'm and not just because of what he did that last game, but I've liked him. Simon Spender, 37 year old, bombing up and down the wings until his legs falls off. Probably, it's probably going to be Greg Draper, but I'm going to give it to Simon Spender. Right, let me know in the comments below. Please do like and comment on these videos for the algorithm stuff. Um, you are legendary and all that sort of stuff. I see lots of comments just going, commenting for the algorithm, feeding the algorithm. Um, I appreciate that because it's just a YouTube game, isn't it? And stuff. But to get the videos out there. Right. Thank you very much as always. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.